Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falk Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void and a Beast of the Hill! Crap, I don't know who Protoss. What the heck, Char? <laughs> Alright, so this is another Beast of the Hill. The rules are up here. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Alright, so we've got ourselves Hyper One playing today. He is a blue Protoss moving out with three SCVs. Right next door to him is going to be Char. Oh, man. Who has a very difficult time typing. We've got ourselves another Terran player. It is Sammy Whammy. We've got a Protoss named a uh, name. We also have Pura, who is a green Terran player. We've got Thor Trellisk, which is an interesting name. Character did not ask to be born. Okay, right here. We've got character playing Protoss today. And finally, rounding it out, we've got Coco Goat. This is Azura's Ample Alleyways, a map created by Hyper One, who got two of his maps in the top five Team Liquid map contest recently. So he's an excellent, excellent map builder. And uh, yeah, so this again is Beast of the Hill. Everything revolves around this little spot of land right here. So I don't... Let's see if we can get up a leaderboard. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, no. Oh, wait, we did. Oh, but we have to be on a player's vision. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. All right, if we're on everyone, it doesn't give us a leaderboard, but everybody else has a leader. So we'll just... That'll work. I think that'll work just fine for us. So let's do this and... Bring this back and go to everyone's vision and get rid of this. Ah, what? W, no. no. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Where'd my mini-map go? <laughs> Come back, mini-map. All right, we're fine. I think, I don't know, is everything okay? Everything is okay. So Hyper One really wants this first point, y'all. If you have a unit on this red circle and the only unit here, you get a point. Two minutes and 40 seconds is um a little bit early to show up here. Oh, so Pura is getting Ling Rushed, but he started off with two barracks. So he should be okay as long as he repairs this supply depot. <laughs> Anything else happening interesting here? Looking for little flashing lights on the mini map. Hmm, this is the Servant OBS interface. The Servant OBS interface is the first replay interface that I used when I was casting StarCraft. Uh, somebody posted it on Team Liquid, said, um, here it is. It's got a larger than usual mini map, a lot of room for activities here, kind of a larger production tab too. And I said, okay, I like it. I like this setup quite a bit. So I used it for years and years. And then the WCS one was released. And I said, you know, this is pretty smooth. I got this thing figured out. It's better than the default StarCraft 2 replay interface for sure. Anyway, if you missed the Beast of the Hill 2 for that I posted a couple days ago, you should check that one out if you're a Beast of the Hill fan. It was just like a couple days ago. It was two incredible, super amazing Beast of the Hills back to back in one cast. What else do you want if you're a Beast of the Hill fan, man? But yeah, free for alls are awesome. What I like about the Beast of the Hill is that you can win just by killing everybody else, but nobody does that. Nobody's just like, I'm just going to roam around the edges of the map and murder everybody. They're all trying to get that third point. And I just, I don't know. Like, it's only three points. If it was maybe four to five to six points, there'd probably be more time to do that if you had a giant death ball. But in the case where there's three points, the time it takes you to go around the entire map and kill everyone and fight their armies and stuff would probably allow someone to sneak in and get their three points before you could pull that off. So, I don't know. I guess I'm asking Hyper One. Hey, Hyper One, has anybody ever managed to do that? Has anyone ever managed to kill everybody? In a beast of the hell and never get to three points. That would be my question for you today. But yeah, check out Hyper One. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that in the description. Again, he's a map maker. He's creating a ton of free-for-all maps now. Obviously, this is another one that he did. Azura's Ample Alleyways. Uh, a name is here. He's going to try to bust in here. But there are marauders in these bunkers and they have concussive shell. Ha 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 ha. Hyper One, the creativity with you is always off the charts. I like it. I like this choice. And again, Beast of the Hill is a new game mode. So as a result, it encourages some creativity from the players, which is always fantastic. 
brings me much happiness. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What else is happening? Robotics Bay coming in from our Protoss play a character down here. He was Zerg in the two times. Whoa, Hyper One just got it? I figured there'd be more people challenging. Nope. They're like, Hyper One, you can have this. Okay. Anyway, character was Zerg both times in the two for Beast of the Hill that I cast. So him playing Protoss is throwing me a bit here. That's okay. We can adjust. We can adapt. We can overcome. Uh, Hyper One, one of his favorite things to do in Beast of the Hill is nuke. So what he does... <laughs> man. So he calls down nukes to clear out the circle as the timer runs out. And then uh, hauls, hauls down a mule after the nukes have exploded and gets the point. But again, mules are like the very lowest, 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 lowest thing on this totem pole of units here, right? So it has the highest priority ground, regular ground units like these. Cloaked ground next, air, cloaked air, temporary units, eggs, and then like free units like mules or locusts are like way past eggs. But they count. They count nevertheless. So, interestingly enough, he's, Hyper One's like, well, um, <clears throat> I don't think he's coming home to defend. No. He's going to try to kill Char? I think he's just going to try to kill Char, who, yeah, only has a few Stalkers and Zealots, which Marauders are going to murderize, especially with Concussive Shell, and a little bit of Micro being applied. But I don't know that you want to leave this undefended. Like, there's other players here. Why are, I guess if you kill your neighbor, you get access to their resources. So that's a risk you kind of have to take early on is... Okay, I'm going to choose to kill my neighbor instead of defend the button this time, maybe. And then that way I can take his resources and then be in better position the later the game goes on. Uh, yeah, got to focus these stalkers. Don't be using shots on probes. And there we go. So all the stalkers are dead. These guys trying to warp in, also dead. Marauders are actually kind of bad at killing probes. But, you know, they get there eventually. <laughs> They're doing just fine. Thanks. Zerg player Thorturalisk recognizes he needs a lot of bases to do whatever the heck he's going to do here today. We've seen Ultras, Banes, we've seen Ravagers get involved in this stuff and get a full surround on those. Oh, here we go. Zap, zap, zap. Zapping those Marauders to death. Okay, so did not quite go, I don't think, as well as Hyper One wanted it to. If you're doing that in a free-for-all, you really want to kill him. The name shows up to Sammy Whammy's front door, and he's going Mass Raven? Madman! Got a little Ketrock Disciple here. So, uh, yeah, the problem with Mass Thor is that um, their energy isn't infinite. You can't just throw down auto turrets all the live long day. And, yeah, so a name is just trying to kill all these SCVs, I guess, slowing the neighbor down enough to kill him. There's island expansions up here. Look at this, bro, bro. It's like a force field, but it's not a force field. I'm pretty sure it's just cosmetic. And then Hyper One comes back, this time with Medivax, which he sh probably should have had the first time around. And then we got Coco Goat with a Root Gaming Tag. Is he scary? Root Gaming Tags really scare me. APM? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 233 APM here for this dude on average throughout the entire game of eight minutes so far. Coco Goat's terrifying. We're going to watch him to maybe be a favorite here. Ooh, Char gets some Void Rays out to deal with the Marauders. Love that choice. And okay, Baneling busted a little bit here. Yeah, Pura's getting attacked by Thortralisk. Does he have enough to defend? He's got a Siege Tank back here with all of 11 kills. And it's kind of hard to see these Medivacs are in the way. But that tank, man, 14 kills Siege Tank. Pulls it back. Oh, pulls it back behind the Marines. Doesn't Siege it up. But just racking up Ling kills, man. 16 kills on that dude. But these Hydras are dangerous. No reinforcements. Maybe some are coming in here from Thortralisk. I don't know, man. On the other side of the map, a name still trying to kill Sammy Whammy with his ravens, the madman. Auto turrets are good, but they're armored and they take bonus damage. Coco Goat takes a completely uncontested point to get his point. What in the name? So no one's fighting here today. I mean, yes, we're fighting each other on the outskirts, but no one's died in nine minutes. Nobody's contesting points at nine minutes. What is going on? This is a bit of an unorthodox beast of the hill. Yeah, Coco Goat versus Hyper One here. I don't know about this Hyper One. Coco Goat seems pretty terrifying. But uh, going in there anyway, does snipe off a tank. Okay, that was a smooth move. Like that quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for Sammy Whammy. Semi Whammy's got his island base to pull back to. He is building more starports because that's all he really wants is ravens. 
He's got expansions down this way too because he's expanding a lot. And then Coco Goat takes offense to losing that siege tank and comes in to wipe out Hyper One. So fairly well, Hyper One's army is in a spot of trouble here. Carriers on the way from our fairly quiet a name here. Although no, he's actually he's killing Sammy Whammy, getting carriers behind it. Characters getting some Colossus. We've got what? Who's this guy? Pura. That's right. Pura kind of got busted by a Zerg. He's got creep right at his front door. Never what you want to see. And then uh, Char is here to take out Sammy Whammy's southern expansion. So Char accidentally working together with a name here to wipe all of Sammy Whammy out. And if this was a free-for-all that I was casting on my channel in Brood War, somebody would be complaining about getting double teamed. Pura makes a drop into Thortralisk space, but there's Ling Bane Hydra here. Pretty good base defense and a drop defense in particular, but I'm not kidding. Like, when I do Brood War streams on Sundays on my channel, man, in free-for-alls, if this ha if Sammy Whammy was one of my subs, they'd probably be complaining about getting double teamed. Meanwhile, a name says, oh, that's right, I can fly out here to this island base where you're hiding all of your ravens and all of your starports. Next round in one minute, and there's just, I don't know, Coco Goat's just gonna wander in. Just hanging out. Ooh, interference matrix on these carriers. Oh, then you toss down auto turrets and execute them. Get out of there, carriers. No. Oh, hang on, hang on. Auto turrets. No. Oh, they get one of them. Man, I thought for sure at least two or three of them would go down. Thortralisk takes exception to getting dropped. Runs right up in here into Pura's natural base with the Ling Bane Hydra army. But the Bane Lings are gone, which means it's time to get on out. 21 seconds left. Coco Goat's holding it. Are there any nukes today? Where are... No. No nukes in production, at least. From Hypervan. Colossus. Ooh, I love this mass Colossus play. Oh, this is actually fantastic. So you kill the stuff on the circle, and uh, you go stand on it, and that's a point. Character shows up with enough splash damage to ruin Coco Goat's day gets a point. So that's three players with points here. We got Hyper 1 with a point, Character with a point, and Coco Goat with a point. Okay. Onwards and upwards. More damage. The Pura and Thortralisk. Situation is getting worse for Thortralisk. Although he gets an Ultra out. Okay, he gets like eight Ultras out. And um, they're in a terrible spot. But still, it takes a long time to kill these guys. They do not actually have... Oh, they have plus two armor upgrades. Okay, good, fine. For 12 minutes, I'm going to allow it. Hyper 1 going after Char again. Trying to execute this dude. His army was away from home, so it was a lot easier to take down his gnat. And then it's only Stalkers and Voidaries, and they're not on attack command. Oh, no! Okay, great. So everything's dead there. Um, Marines are really good against Stalkers. Landing the Vikings with bonus damage versus Mechanical. And Stalkers are Mechanical, so they take that bonus damage from Vikings. Embarrassing as all get out to die to a, uh, to die to a landed Viking when you're a Stalker. Ugh. Bad times. But I think that's it for our guy, Sammy Whammy. He's trying to stay alive. He's trying to be the cockroach of this match. Oh, no. And then character's like, huh. Char taps out. Hyper One's got him. On the other side, Thortralisk is in a lot of trouble here, too. There aren't any immortals with this group, but Archons do okay against Ultras. <clears throat> and the Colossus standing back, just doing a lot of damage. I mean, not a ton, but they're also not getting attacked either. So they could just continue doing it over and over again, and that's how you kill something, is attacking it a lot. Generally, he hallucinates some Colossus here to prevent, I don't know, the evacuation of some Lings, I guess. Just messing around a little bit. Just new boot goofing here. Oh, Sammy Whammy. Goodbye. Sammy Whammy's out too. So Char and Sammy Whammy die right one after the other here at about 13 minutes. Coco Goat wants to kill the Hyper One, who still is not making any nukes. This is the least contested... Center Red Square, Beast of the Hill, I've ever seen Hyper One's just getting massacred by Coco Goat. What a bad neighbor to spawn next to. Yeah, I mean, if we're looking at army supply here, it's um, oh, it's only 193 <laughs> for Coco Goat. Ugh. The name up here's got 200 supply, 101, 119, 150 for character. As he is taking it to Thortralis quite nicely. Ultras keep showing up. You know, honestly, they do okay against... See how fast they kill these Colossus, but there just aren't enough of them. So the Colossus... This is generally a pretty bad situation for Colossus, but they just... When you outnumber the thing that kills you, 
Yeah, Sapura. Oh, Sapura taps out because Carrier RB showed up from unname, and Torchalis is going to die here too, fairly soon. If he doesn't die to character, which actually he's not going to. Wow. Yeah, because more ultras kept popping in. And he's probably going to die here to unname. That would be my guess. A name expanding to this uh, island base would be pretty hot. I mean, taking everything you took from Sammy Whammy would be cool. Coco Goat, uh... Oh, wait! A name got a point there! My gosh, with one stalker! What is going on? This is the least... Like, usually this is chaos every time a round ends. But today, not so much. Just casually, you know... Did he have... There's no way he only had one stalker on this. Whatever. If I rewind, I'll lose the red dot. I don't want to do that. Any oh, purifier skin on these zealots. I love the purifier skin. We don't see it enough. I love their claw. It gives them two claws, like X2 in Logan. Very cool stuff. And like, I don't know, their rounded armor just... I like it. I mean, lore-wise, they're robots, right? They're not alive, so they have armor for reasons that to make them look cool, I guess. Thortralis got an ultra out. He's gonna, oh my gosh, more ultras keep popping for him. But that's it. He's got 195 minerals remaining. Not ideal, not at all. Oh, Coco Go, try to deal with this carrier Tempest High Templar army. Getting stormed a little bit here, but maybe we're out of storm. Uh, yes, we, yes, we are, okay. But can the Interceptors withstand the Marine DPS? The answer seems to be not so much, but the Tempests are adding some extra, extra damage here. Urgh, the Interceptor, wow. Marines are so good. I mean, yeah, they're gonna die, but they took a lot of stuff with them for sure. Hyper One wants Char's income more than anything else. On the other side, Thortralisk counterattacking into Immortal Archonville. Not where you wanna be. Mr. Ultralisk. Yeah, you dead. You are super dead. I don't know. Thortralisk still has one base mining. He's got a lot of tech here. He's got upgrades. Does he have the plus? He got the plus three attack or armor upgrade. So fantastic. Actually, if I go here, I can see that too. Katniss plating has been upgraded. Adrenal's been upgraded for him. Fantastic. Who has the biggest armies right now? Well, it's going to be unnamed. Is maxed out. And uh, no one else is really all that close to him. So... Good luck. Good luck trying to take the center from a name here. Although his army is almost entirely air, which as we pointed out, air gets lower priority than ground and cloaked ground does. So you can have a million carriers here, but if there's one marine on the circle, when the timer ends, that marine gets the point, not you. Ah, here we go. Here go the nuki shenanigans. Uh, nuke, 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 nuke. Seven, six, five... So you let the nuke land and you call down additional mules. And there they are. He gets the point with the mule. Got his second point. Beautifully played. That is the Hyper One Stratagem. More storm coming in here on Coco Goat. It's working pretty well. It's like, yeah, my only weakness to the Terran in that last battle was not enough psionic storm. Yeah, this is going, ghosts are dying. Car uh, I mean, Coco Goat in a lot of trouble here. What's he at? 50? Nope, that's Hyper One's at 50 supply. Coco Goat's at 190. Oh, that was Hyper One. I'm a liar. Hyper One getting wrecked by that army. Coco Goat is uh, somewhere else at the moment. He's expanded a million times. It's impossible to see on creep. Here he is anyway. Good heavens. Was that, was that Hyper One the whole time that was attacking a name? I bet it was. Geographically, it makes a lot more sense. I think I just saw a Terran army, and I was like, that's Coco Goat. Moron. Moron me. So, yeah, Hyper One's struggling mightily, but still building his very precious nukes. It is... Let's see. If we get back here, and we go there. It's Hyper One 2, character 1. Coco Goat 1, a name 1. Uh-oh. A name wants to kill... The Hypervan, here he comes. Yo, all right, he's trying to marine. Oh, well, no. I was gonna finish that sentence, but never mind. Hyper One, retreat, retreat. The Sky Toss Army has arrived. I spent too much money on nukes. 
Not enough on things that can kill Sky Toss. Like, I don't know. Vikings would be pretty cool. He had some earlier. Not like he didn't make any. Mm. Enhanced Shockwave coming in. I guess you can EMP these guys while they're murdering you. Uh, is actually Coco Goat going to maybe accidentally save Hyper One here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Free High Templar, though. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. That hurts. Those are not cheap. Those are not free. 51 seconds to the next point. Hyper One fleeing. Coco Goat is not interested in engaging with that army. I don't think he knows it's there, honestly. He just kind of scanned in, saw the space was gone, saw some High Templar, and was like, all right, cool. That works for me. Hyper One losing all of his barracks. 35 seconds to point. Moving in character with a bunch of zealots. He's wiping out a lot of Coco Goat's resources here, too. Hyper One calls a GG, but he's got a Secret Island base back here. He doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean GG. He's trying to throw a name off his scent. 16 seconds. Carriers and Tempest are kind of slow. What the heck is this? Oh, some Lurker. Thortralisk refuses to die, man. Tens. Really? Nobody's... Okay, someone will be on the circle when this comes up, right? Three. Yeah, okay. So a name gets it. Wow, again. Just like... Two points for a name. Are we... This is like the least contested... Least contested points I've ever seen in a Beast of the Hill. Crazy. I... I don't know. Yeah, so it's two for Hyper One, two for a name, one for character, one for Coco Goat. Hmm. Character says, I thought I killed you, Thortralisk. A Thortralisk's like, leave me alone. Back off. I'm trying to not die here. I don't have any points. Why would you kill me? I don't even have any resources available at my bases. Oh, these carriers are in a lot of trouble. Okay, why are there just three carriers over here? They were on an expedition. Two of them get out. Hyper One, he's got this base. There's nothing left at it, though. He's got this base, which is, you know, remotely healthy. About mm, 4,000 gas there. Thortralisk does finally succumb to the mass. Mass 313 zealots. From character. So Hyper One's in a lot of trouble here, but... You know, hiding at a base that could easily just be wiped out by carriers at any point. It works, but only until the Protoss figures out where you are. He's been expanding a whole bunch. Pure's dead. Yes, Pure's dead. Taking his bases would be cool. Thortralisk is dead. His bases don't really have any resources at them at all. Not really worth it. Ah, oh, there we go. 200 supply here from name, 200 supply from Coco Goat, and 200 supply from character. 21 supply from Hyper One. Uh, 93 supply. Oh, from P Pura still shows up even though he left the game. So yeah, everyone who's still in this thing has a maxed out army except for Hyper One, which you know what? That tracks with what we know about Hyper One and his shenanigans. He's trying to build nukes over here and Coco Goat's like, what are you doing, man? Seriously, what are you doing? 58 seconds to go. More Ghost Academies. Oh, Ghost Academies from Coco Goat, actually. He's making his own. Like, all right, all right. I see how that one point that Hyper One got worked. Character holding it, 39 seconds. I mean, these are pretty tanky boys. They've got plus three armor, plus the one they already have. So they're four armor guys. Really not too shabby at all. If a name wants this point, he needs to start wiping out these zealots. It's not gonna be an instantaneous process. So he storms it, gets them off the circle. They're coming back in. Here come the nukes. And everybody's like, oh, uh, do we? It's only one though. You can survive one nuke. Are you gonna, are you serious? R2, one, no, a character got it. What the heck? <laughs> Hyper one, where was the mule? Did he have a mule? He had a mule. I don't know what happened there. So, okay, that makes it extra interesting then. We've got Hyper One with two points, Character with two points, and a name with two points. Three-way tie here at 24 minutos. These zealots of character are like, you can't kill me fast, but you can kill me. So run! Go try to wipe out... No, has anyone ever taken this gold base? I think this gold base is entirely untouched. Tis a virgin! 
gold base that no one has bothered to go for. I think this one's also a virgin gold base. Actually, a surprising number of gold bases not been taken here on Azura's ample alleyways. Uh, Azura is one of Hyper One's probably subscribers. I don't know. He plays in Beast of the Hill quite a bit. I'm going to assume he's in Hyper One's Discord server too, but... Yeah, if you want to link to that, I... I, I, um, I guess... Throw down a comment. We'll figure it out. Recall! Recall! Yeah. So, I don't know. Everything's working here. Three players are effectively maxed out. Although, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Dude, character lost a lot of zealots there. Uh, but he does have 4,000 minerals with which to produce a lot more zealots, if that's what he wants to do. But he's making a probe and immortals and archons. And here we go. Warping in 11 zealots at once. That's how we do as Protoss. That is the play. A name holds on to this base. He hasn't taken this island base yet, which I think would be nice. So he does have a huge bank. What has he got? 5,000 minerals and 4,000 gas. It's fine. It's not massive. DTs. Ooh. Going after characters. One of his newer sources of income here. That is a big deal. In the game of StarCraft, newer sources of income are much better to kill than older sources of income. Hyper One, I think, tossed some EMPs down up here. That was pretty sweet. And then had to run for his life. Because you can EMP stuff, but you can't really kill him. Unless you have a lot of ghosts. A name comes down. Got pylons for ground purposes. Gotta okay. Gotta encircleize. Nuke is okay. Double nuke on the way. Triple nuke. Is that quad nuke? Quad nuke on the way. Hyperwood only needs one point to win this thing. These probes need to not be in the circles. Okay, nuke starting to land. Three, two, one. Mules down. Bam! Hyper one gets it with the nuke mule finale. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Who's still in this game? Leave. Hyper One probably still is. We're pausing. All right, cool. So Hyper One, three points. Character was almost there. A name was almost there. Aww. This strategy, man, is pretty sweet. It is pretty rough to deal with if you're trying to defend and prevent Hyper One from executing it. So beautiful. Just a truly beautiful display of Hyper One using his all-time favorite Nuke Mule strategy. He's got all of 39 supply at this point. 39. Of which, 25 of that is SCVs, and 7 of it is Ghosts. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Hyper One, your zaniness. Your zaniness always astounds. Look at this. Coco Goat's got 195 supply. Where was he in this vital battle? He's like just dinking around, whatever. He does not know the ways of Beast of the Hill. And then a name's got 190 supply, and he's kind of went <clears throat> for some pylon stuff. But nukes clear out pylons, turns out. And then, yeah, Mule's getting that point. But again, the lowest thing on the totem pole. The lowest. They're not even listed, they're so low on the totem pole. So well done, well done, Hyper One. Again, check out his YouTube channel. Uh, check out, uh, I don't know, you can subscribe to my channel too if you want. I'm here five times a week with Brood War or StarCraft 2 stuff. Whoa. I do Brood War stuff a lot as well. I'm pretty busy. But yeah, that's it. GG. Well done to Hyper One. Never count him out. You're like, oh, I killed all of his main and he's only on this little tiny island. Okay, that's a lie. He did have this base and he's got this low ground stuff too, which is nice. But yeah, I killed him. Don't have to worry about it. No, you do. If he has, you know, a few ghosts and a couple orbitals, he'll get points off you. Is what he'll do. He's a monster. Resources lost. 38,000 from Hyper One. 36,000 from Thortralisk. And 33 from Character. So a lot of blood of blood in the streets this day. And that's going to be it from me. So this is Ben Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Beast of the Hill. 
go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw, what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.